Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Boring Company and SpaceX Warehouse Construction Update. Well, welcome to the SpaceX new 521,000 square foot warehouse being built right across the street from the Boring Company. So we're going to be covering both of those today. As you can see right behind me, a lot of the progress is going along really well and they have this very unique and distinctive trim that's on this corner of the building. Now here's a couple other images. This one here gives you a good idea of how the overall construction site looks and how the building is progressing. Looks to me like almost all of the roof with the exception of about maybe 15-20% is completed. Most of the loading docks as you can see here on the side of the building are nearly completed as well. And also another very interesting feature of this building is this as you can see by the image here which is a boring tunnel that goes underneath Walker Watson Road which separates the boring company and the SpaceX warehouse facility. Pretty interesting. Now I also want to cover the boring company so we'll go ahead and flip around and I'll show you what the boring company facility looks like today. So as mentioned we've uh, just turned around and gone across the street right here where the boring company is located. Now this is a site that they've been doing a lot of preparation work with the Profoc machinery and also a lot of the testing for the boring. In addition to that, as I mentioned on the SpaceX side, there's a tunnel that goes right under the road, actually right under where I'm standing, over here to the Boring Company facility as well. Now, as you can see by this image, there's a lot of activity going on here. They have this rounded top sprung structure that's been here for about a year and a half or so. And then they have this much larger warehouse that's been constructed within the last eight months. So it's very interesting to see the activity here at the Boring Company and how close it is right across the street to the new SpaceX warehouse facility. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and this tour around to see some of the progress in these two facilities. And also, just a reminder, we're located about 15 miles or approximately 20 kilometers due east of the Gigafactory, Texas. So a lot of very interesting Elon Musk companies within a very close area here. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this and uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. We start off with this view of, believe it or not, the Colorado River. And if you follow that river in the direction that it's going, eventually you would get yourself to Giga, Texas. So this is the farmland area that uh, was purchased by SpaceX. It's about 47 acres and it's being used to construct this new warehouse, which is also called Project Echo. And uh, as you can see, it's definitely making a lot of progress. This began construction uh, late spring, early summer of this year. And uh, its main structure is almost completely finished by now. Now on the left hand side is where most of the receiving docks are located although there are some as you can see here at the uh, um, base of this particular wall and then on this side of the building you can see this black trim stripe that continues the length of the building and then uh, angles up towards the uh, front of the building to give a very interesting treatment which we'll get a chance to see a little bit closer in a minute. Now a lot of the roof is getting the final weatherproof membranes installed. You can see those uh, stacks of uh, white uh, items there and uh, the rate that they're going I would say that by the first of the year they should have those pretty much installed. Now, as I mentioned, this is how that black stripe uh, kind of bends up to this corner and then uh, bends back down towards the front of the building. So quite a pretty interesting uh, uh, design element of this particular building, which uh, really helps it stand out than the typical uh, white square box uh, kind of structure that you normally see. Now, on the bottom left hand side of the screen is actually a boring company tunnel that goes underneath the road and emerges over at the Boring Company facility. And I'll show you a little bit uh, more of that in a bit, uh, a little closer up. But here on this side of the structure, you can see the material staging yard, also where the vehicles are temporarily parked. 
Also, it looks like uh, remnants of a farm in the background um, and kind of gives you an idea of what this entire area used to look like before the construction began. As you can see, even though it's a Sunday on the time of filming this uh, video, they are installing more of the wall panels and uh, enough on the ground here and with the work that's going on that uh, possibly by about midweek this side of the building will be completed, notwithstanding some of the forecast bad weather that uh, we will be seeing on uh, the 19th. Um, but anyway, this gives a good idea of the kind of construction that is being used here. This is pretty much a steel framed uh, structure. It looks like at least on this part, there's a second floor. And I don't know if that's contiguous throughout the entire uh, building or not, but uh, the building is listed as 521,000 square feet. And I, again, I don't know if that's just uh, the footprint of the building or if it includes any of the uh, additional flooring. As we fly over the uh, top of the roof, this gives you a good idea of the state of construction right now. All of the roof decking is in. It's just that final weatherproof membrane that needs to be installed. Now I'm going to bring the drone down a little bit uh, lower and give you a good view of this end of the Boring Company tunnel. And this is on the SpaceX side of the uh, road and on its property. And then you can see across the road where it emerges right next to that yellow crane. And this is a good view of the SpaceX facility. You can see the main entrance with that boring tunnel segment and the logo on the left-hand side of the screen. You can see quite a bit of the concrete segments that are used to line the boring tunnel on the left-hand side. And in the center of that uh, rounded top uh, sprung structure is the original and only uh, facility that was on this site about a year and a half ago. Uh, and then since then, everything else that you see has been added. Now, as you can tell that there's this interesting steel structure near the yellow crane. I'm not exactly sure what that is. If you are a boring company expert or you understand what's going on with boring company equipment, I'd appreciate letting me know what uh, this uh, tall uh, set of stands and white painted uh, devices are. What I'm showing you here is a close-up of this end of the tunnel. The inset photo is the published image from the Boring Company, and they said that they were doing some testing on uh, uh, sort of Hyperloop uh, kind of tunnels. I don't know if that's completely true, but you can clearly see here where that photo was uh, taken. And you can see some other equipment, uh, some of which I'm not exactly sure uh, what it is on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, near those uh, tall white towers with the red tops. You can also see another uh, small warehouse with the Boring Company logo on it, some other uh, facilities nearby, and on the right-hand side of the screen, a very large warehouse that's been completed in the last few months. You can also see what appears to be some uh, lodging or housing facilities for some of the workers. And I believe this is used because they travel quite a bit uh, and they may come in from all different parts of the country. So this gives them a place to stay uh, while they're working at this particular facility. Looks like they've got some sort of a recreational facility right in the middle as well. And you can see that uh, tennis court or looks like maybe a small uh, soccer field as well. As we continue to move around the property, this gives you a really good view of how it appears right now. Uh, it looks like there's plenty of room in, within the fencing for more expansion. And as I mentioned, this new hangar or warehouse was completed in the last few months and uh, uh, gives them quite a bit more of the uh, ability to work inside, which is uh, uh, probably well appreciated by the workers. Now there's also some more equipment, sort of yellow and white on this side of the property. You can see some containers lining this road, and this road is listed as the delivery road for uh, vehicles bringing parts and equipment into the facility. And this is a good view just looking at the uh, uh, warehouse on the left, this uh, rounded top uh, sprung structure and the rest of the facility uh, as well. 
So anyway, this is a quick tour of both the Boring Company and the SpaceX sites here in Bastrop, Texas. This is located on Walker Watson Road. Uh, the address for uh, the Boring Company is 130. I'm not sure what the, the SpaceX facility would be, but it would also be on the exact same road. So as I pull back, this gives you a good view of where these facilities are located and just how it appears uh, today. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed these uh, videos, this information that I've presented and uh, how these facilities look and how they are progressing. As always, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.